Hi guys. So today I wanted to come on and show you guys. It's kind of a little tip tutorial type thing. Um, some of you may have saw on, I think I put it on, I think I did it on YouTube. Um, I did this cute little um, purse. It's a 3D purse from Scrap Diva. So I created this and I want to, I haven't got anything inside of it yet. And so I want to um, make some, um, you know, pieces to put down inside that I can put some embellishments on, okay? So I decided to um, take, this is the layering piece for the outside, for this part from the outside of the, it goes from here around and up to here. So it's the layering piece for the, for the actual purse part. So it fits down inside the purse perfectly, of course. And so I want to um, cut this out, but obviously <clears throat> this is <clears throat> too tall. Sorry, the allergies of my frog in my throat. So obviously it's too tall. So I'm going to um, cut this in half, but I want all that stitching detail on the whole thing. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to put this piece in and I'm going to run it through. Of course my <laughs> things are popping and cracking. <laughs> Not ready to be no good. Okay. <clears throat> So now I have my piece of paper all cut out and there's the um, stitching all around. You're not going to be able to see it very well from the other side with the, with the pattern paper, but on the back side you can see all the stitching is there. Okay, so, but if I cut it in half, then I'm not going to have my stitching across the top piece. So I'm going to show you what I will do. Okay, I'm going to go cut this in half and then I'm going to show you what I'll do. <coughs> Now I'm back, so now I have that cut in half, okay? Um, but I didn't want to lose that stitching detail here at the bottom. So I'm gonna show you how you can fix that. So I'm gonna take the same die again, and I'm gonna line it back up. Um, so I already got the stitching on this side, this side, and this side, so I need it on the bottom. So I'm gonna take this and line it back up with it and if you'll notice, you kind of feel it kind of will sink down into, you know, the indents where it already, um, you know, put those stitch marks. So it um, lines up pretty good. Now you can, um, uh, what should we call it? Put a piece of washi tape on it so it doesn't move, which I would recommend because as soon as you try and do it without the washi, never fails, it will move on you. Okay. So if I can find the end of my washi, I am going to tape it down so that it does not move. Okay, I'm not sure if it might have even moved when I set it down, so I'm just going to make sure it's all lined up again. Hold it in place, and then tape it down. Okay, now I'm going to run it through again. Take it off. Carefully pull the washi kind of back on itself. That way you won't ruin your thing. Um, you, oh. <laughs> eh, 
I lined it up on the wrong side, you guys. Let me do that again. <clears throat> of course, when you're doing a video, it doesn't line up right, of course. So let me do this again. I'm going to turn it over on the back side just so I can make sure that it is lined up. Okay, so now you can see I got that lined up there again. Okay, hold it in place. Put this washi back down. Let's try this again. Okay. okay. Pull my washi off. Some of it cut and some of it stuck. Okay, now if you notice, so it's really hard to see on the um, printed piece, but if you look on the back piece, now it is, it has the um, stitching all the way around, okay? So just by moving the die around, you can get yourself, you know, a different kind of die cut um, using the same die. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, I want to use both of these, so <clears throat> I am going to do the same thing on the other piece. Okay, I'm going to put it back in here, get it lined up, let me get another piece of washi. And you can do this with other shapes and stuff like that too. So this is just happens to be the one I'm using and I wanted to be able to do that. And so I thought I would share with you in case, you know, just as a tip, something you can do. Okay, so now I have it all lined up again. See that? Okay, I'm gonna place it down carefully so I don't move it. Tape it down to my mat also. Run it through again. I could go back over the whole thing, but I don't need to because the holes are already there. And if I run over it quite a few times, you know, it might make it a little bit less sturdy. So I'll just do the one time or just do the one piece that I needed to cut. Okay. And then there again, I have that stitching all the way around that die, even though I cut it in half. Okay. So anyway, hope that was helpful. Just a quick little tip. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And like I said, you can do it on all kinds of different dies. Just, um, you know, move it and line up the pieces on the previous holes, um, you know, that you want there. And then the rest that you don't just, you know, adjust it. So it's a really easy way to, to get more out of your dies. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, again, this is, uh, the 3D Prish die from Scrap Diva. So I will link all of her information down below. So if you want to purchase this die, you can go um, check it out. Use my discount code, pol code POLKA10, P-O-L-K-A-10. I'll have that linked and save yourself 10% um, off at checkout. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope this was helpful. Talk to you soon. Bye.